Greetings everyone. This is Jeff Bourgeois at San Juan Regional Medical Center. Today is Friday, December 18th, and I'd like to give you another weekly update about the ongoing COVID-19 response at our facility. Today, I'm pleased to share with you that this has been a historic week at San Juan Regional Medical Center. On the good side of historic, we received our first round of Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. We began immediately vaccinating our caregivers and first responders in accordance with the prescribed guidelines. This is the first time in 10 months that the healthcare industry and our country and community in general can be on the offensive in combating this horrible disease. The COVID vaccine, however, just adds one more layer of protection. Getting back to normal is going to take all of our tools. The best way for our community to reduce the spread and get to green so we can reopen our businesses, reopen our schools, and get back to normalcy is to do the things that we've all heard about so often over the past 10 months. Avoid large gatherings, wear a mask, wash your hands, and practice social distancing. On the bad side of the historic week at San Juan Regional Medical Center is the fact that as of earlier today, we reached another all-time high for current COVID-19 positive patients hospitalized at San Juan Regional Medical Center. As of earlier today, that number was 86. There were another nine patients under investigation awaiting a test result. That is combined to add to other patients hospitalized for a total census of 167. We have 13 total intubated patients as of earlier today, and eight of those are confirmed COVID-19 positive patients. This slide, as always, shows the trend line of our current census as well as the portion of that census that is either COVID or COVID suspected. I would just call your attention to the second line from the top. That's that light purple line. That shows the overall COVID or suspected COVID patient population as of earlier today, again on December 18th. That number is now approaching 100. This slide shows the rolling 14 and 7 day average for our test positivity rate for those tests taken specifically at San Juan Regional Medical Center or one of its affiliated locations. The green line is the rolling 7 day average and the red line is the rolling 14 day average. You will see that we've kind of flattened out over the past week or so, but we're still well above 20% with a high rate of positivity. Far too high. Uh, given all the efforts that have been put in place to try to mitigate the spread. So in closing, as we look forward to the eventual rolling out of the COVID-19 vaccine to the general public over the coming months, we cannot let our guard down now. Let's continue to practice all the things we've heard about again. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and social distance. Let's protect ourselves our family, and our friends. Our caregivers will continue to wear their PPE, and we ask that you continue to do the same. If we use all the tools we have, we stand a better chance of getting our families, community, schools, and workplaces back to normal sooner. And finally, just a word of encouragement and reminder. If you feel you need access to health care services, do not delay in seeking care. We are here for your needs, and we remain open 24-7, 365 via our emergency department to help meet your needs. Again, do not delay care if you feel you need it for any reason. Across our country, in our state, and in our community, there are far too many stories of patients delaying care and therefore uh, worsening their long-term health care outcomes. I thank you again for all you've done to support San Juan Regional Medical Center throughout this pandemic, and I wish you a peaceful, safe, and restful holiday season. Your support has made all the difference in the world to us. Together we have accomplished a great deal. Let's continue to work together to put an end to this pandemic. Thank you.